You know, UHA Health Insurance is all about keeping you healthy and happy, and there's so much that goes into that, both at work and at home. But let's talk about work a little bit. Valerie Al is here. Now, she's a UHA Worksite Wellness Manager and Dr. David Honeycutt to talk more about resilience and why does it matter. I just love that word, Dr. Resilience. Well, wh why does it matter and what, what does that mean exactly? Well, you know, it's a great concept. I mean, really, if you could pick one thing to have in your life, mm -hmm. one attribute, resilience is the idea that you can get up one more time than when you get knocked down. I love and it. honestly, if you can do that, you got a shot at achieving anything you want in life. And that's the power of resilience. And, and how powerful is that as a thing to get our life going? I mean, I just got to ask you, I've heard sports out, it's not, it's not how you win, it's how you get back up once you're knocked down. You're, you're describing that perfectly right there, but how powerful is that as a feeling going forward? Well, I got to tell you what, if you have that, you're liberated. Mm -hmm. I mean, you feel like you can do anything that you want to do, and that even though you encounter these setbacks, that you're going to get over the hurdle, mm -hmm. and you're going to be better as a result of that. And when you carry that attitude, Things change. Wow. And, uh, Doctor, is there, is there some things that we can kind of keep in mind that e even on a daily basis that can help get that frame of mind? You know what? It's really not that complicated. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is that there are some basic things. The first thing is you always have to remember mm -hmm. that the grass is greener where you water it. Interesting. And because when you think in the workplace, everybody thinks, you know, if I had a job at another place, if I was working somewhere else, it would be so much better. But people who are resilient, they know that the grass is greener where you water it. Where you water it. Take care of what you got to do. Uh, you and I are both sitting here smiling, going, God, I'm inspired by this. Uh, talk about how this and this relates, because he, he was just a keynote speaker at a, at a conference that just happened. Yes, we mm -hmm. just had the conference yesterday. Mm -hmm. And really building the culture of resilience at work is we think one way to help employees build better health habits. Mm. It's not just diet and exercise, it's really building that culture of resilience. Yeah, and it's everybody at work, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it, one person would be nice, but when everybody joins in and buys in, it makes a huge difference in the workplace, doesn't it? Absolutely. Um, for bosses out there, or for for an owner of a company that wants to get his employees, I mean, uh, talk to you guys, talk to him, mm -hmm. what would be the best way in things to go forward in trying to get that frame of thinking at my workplace where I work? Mm, okay, so we formed HHAW, Hawaii Health at Work Alliance, mm -hmm. um, about three years ago, uh, when we found the need that to just to help bring employers together mm -hmm. to learn how to build healthier environments. Um, we have tools available on our website, hhawa.com. Um, we have a good a source of providers or wellness providers. There's some toolkits there, some mm -hmm. posters that people can easily implement. You know what I love about you guys, too, is you understand that it's not just one thing. It's, it's many things. It's mm -hmm. many things that you have to look at together from both the workers, the boss, the workplace, the commuting hours, right. all kinds of things. And, Dr., when a, a boss out there or, or, or a leader at work takes this frame and sees it, it's not only power for them, but for the bottom line. Does it help being a successful business to have this in there? Oh, in no the question. I mean, think about this. 90% of a company's assets mm. walk out the door and into the parking lot every night. That's a good way. Oh, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, that's and the true. thing that keeps them coming back is a great culture where people realize that, listen, we're going to have challenges and we're going to have trials and tribulations, but we're going to get over them together and we're going to be better. And when companies do that, they become great. And, and forgive me for asking, though, Doctor, on the other side, if they don't, can, can something where an employee doesn't have that type of mind affect them both emotionally and physically? I mean, gosh, you know, you have that, you just don't want to go to work. Man, that's a great that's a that's a great point and we we like to refer to it as suicide on the installment mm. plan mm. I mean because it's just get up go to work go home and go to bed it's yeah. the same thing and you just drag thing. and you go lower and lower and there, that's no way to live mm. and not it not when you're gonna spend the majority of your waking hours at work there has to be something better you know someone once said I mean gosh your family is great but you spend almost more time with the people at work they're, they're, they're your family as well we right? and and I gotta ask too when it comes to this and, and uh, resilience itself it, it's something that is a daily thing, or is it something that we just get once? As a doctor, when you're trying to teach these things, do we have to be mindful going forward all the time, oh, or is it just like a switch we just click? No, it's a, great, it's a great point. But you do get into a mindset of resilience, but you have to practice it every day. One of the easiest ways to practice it is just to write down every day three things that you're grateful for. Interesting. Three things, because if you can say, listen, this is my life, these are things that I'm grateful for, it gives you purpose, it gives you a sense of meaning, and allows you to keep moving forward, but it has to be practiced on a daily basis. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. That's such. I'm, I'm actually going to write that down right now, but I'm grateful for what you guys do. And again, UHA, it's so nice to have you guys thinking about us and thinking about this great topic because it, it really makes a difference. Oh, I'm really thinking differently right now. Thank you, you guys. This is